Hello everyone, this is Suicune, and today I'm going to demo a game called Crystal Monsters. Now, should you play this game? Short answer is, no. Long answer is, I wanted to really like this game. I really did. It's got monsters, it's got catching, it's got breeding, it's got all the things that are just the basic elements of a game that I should absolutely love. But unfortunately, this game kind of jacked up, and it messed up a few very key things that makes me just not, can I only not recommend this game, but I don't even want to play this game. So this is one of those DSiWare games, I think it was only like five bucks or something, so you know, it didn't cost that much. But like I said, all they had to do was just a couple simple things. Would have loved this game. But for right now, I'm just going to go through the tutorial so you can kind of see the basics of the game. We have to hurry. What's going on? No time to talk. Let's move. Oh, God. Yes. Who has ever heard of running before? So, I like this little fire kitty thing, so I'm gonna pick that. Alright. That's a monster! You must fight it! Okay. You've been attacked by a monster! Because monsters are dicks. It's one of your monster skills. Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. It's actually been a while. Since I've done this. Uh, he looks weak to fire, so let's shoot the crap out of him with fire. Or maybe he's a water type, never mind. Attack with bite. Bite him! Alright. Great, your attack inflicted a bunch of damage. Yay! Be careful, it's attacking! Oh god! You can order your monster to block the attack by pressing the display direction on the control pad, or by tapping the highlighted direction on the touchscreen. Don't have long to perform in the bag. So I had to push right on the arrow key, on the uh, D-pad, for me to block some of that damage. Well, let's try a fire attack. Here we go. Keep an eye on the chain dial that will appear during your attacks. Some attacks can be used more than once in a turn. Press the A button or tap the chain on the dial, blah, blah, blah. Oh, whoops. That went faster than I thought. Oh god, I didn't block it. Let's try it again. There we go. Because I got it in that little yellow bar. That's why I was able to do it in two attacks. Sometimes you gotta be fast on that too. So that's pretty much that's pretty much your combat right there. And the combat's not bad. At first I was kind of like, eh, but it's actually not too bad. I mean, you get used to it. That's not the problem that I have. All right, couple of things. One, walking is very very stiff in this game. That's not really what I want to do. That's the other thing I don't like. Ah, go down. Oh, it's already there. So, if you accidentally walk into someone, which it's very easy to do, you will automatically talk to them. And the text in this game is super slow. So I was like, oh, well, let's go to the options. Maybe increase the text speed. Options. Music on or sound effects on. Those are your only two options. Alright. So it's really better just to use the D-pad, even though I want to use the little controller thing. Oh god, you're such a bully. So, like I said, the walking is just so stiff in this game, it just drives me nuts. And the other main issue I have, I will hopefully be able to show off in a second. I don't remember what I was supposed to be doing there, but whatever. Oh yeah, I want to go back this way. So I want to go to the store, because I will show you the other issue. Oh. Sorry, I accidentally bumped in you. I don't want to hear your entire life story. Let me go! Oh my god. 
Stop it. Stop speaking to me. Let's go in the store. In the store, please. There we go. Alright, this is the store. So, this is the other issue that I have with the game. So you see that there's this animal thing, plant thing, fire thing, and yes, this is as fast as it goes. So there's all these different types of monsters in the game. It's like in Pokemon, there's water, fire, rock, wind, you know, things like that. Well, well, there's no wind, but still. So, you know how like in Pokemon, you just have a Pokeball, you can catch any Pokemon that you want? Not in this game. You have to have... The bears, basically, you'd have to have a plant Pokeball to catch a plant Pokemon. You'd have to have a fire Pokeball to catch a fire Pokemon. That is what this game is like, and you don't have a lot of inventory space to hold all these things. So I got like one or two of each of these, plus a couple of just, you know, health items. And then my game's like, yeah, you're out of space. I'm like, but, but I have all these Pokeballs that I need. <laughs> So, that really alone killed it for me. I don't have enough inventory space for needing a Pokeball for every single type. And just the whole, you know, controlling being controller being stiff and just almost unreasonable. And people walking around, it's like I said, it's very easy to just accidentally walk into somebody. And the catch rate in this game is terrible. I mean, it's really bad. It'd be like if you spent, you know, five or six Pokeballs trying to catch a Pidgey. You know, the monsters in the very first area are super hard to catch. And they really shouldn't be that hard. I mean, in this first encounter, they'll show you, it'll be, you know, like a one-hit catch. Like, no problem, you'll catch it. But after that, it's really hard to catch. So, just because of those really basic things, like not having enough item space, having too many items just to catch monsters, the catch rate being really low, and the controls just being really stiff and just accidentally walking into people spouts their entire life at you. Because of all those things, I can't recommend this game. Sorry.